My name is Peter Grant and I am here to give you three tips on winterizing your home. These tips are brought to you by the Tulsa Home Builders Association. First, we're gonna talk about water faucets, exterior water faucets, also ca commonly called in the industry hose bibs. Now, one of the greatest mistakes people make is leaving their hoses connected to the water faucet during the winter. It is absolutely critical that you disconnect your, your hose from the faucet itself. With the nature of water, your hose holds water. The nature of water, when it freezes, it expands and it can expand back into the faucet and break your water line. And I promise you, the last thing that you want is a broken water line in the middle of winter. So, after disconnecting the, the hose from the faucet, then I recommend going to one of your box stores and getting a faucet protector. This is a styrofoam cover and it has a little uh, foam seal here. Very easy to install. It's got a little wire inside of it. You come under the neck of the faucet, connect that, bring it against the wall like this. It has a little tightener, bam, it's warm and cozy and it protects you from freezing. The second tip we're gonna talk about this morning pertains to houses built on cr crawl spaces. You have two types of foundations. You have a slab foundation where there's no space underneath the house and then you have crawl space foundations. With every crawl space foundation you have uh, crawl space vents and it's absolutely critical to close the vents in the winter. That keeps the cold freezing air from circulating underneath your house. Remember your plumbing and crawl space construction is located under your house, so you want to protect those pipes from freezing temperatures and potential bursting. This is very easy to do. Um, here is an example of a, of a crawl space vent, and, and they are usually equipped with a little, you'll see a little pull here, in which operates a, a flap. You want to pull that close like that. That's all you need to do. In the, in the summer months then, you'll open them up so that the warm air circulates under there and keeps it nice and dry. If you don't happen to have the, the flap in place, you can easily create your own by using a thick cardboard, cut it the size of the vent, and just slip it in place. The third and final component that we're going to talk about winterizing your home has to do with insulation. Most of the houses that I examine in Tulsa are grossly under insulated. Now we use what is called an R factor in calculating insulation in homes. The R stands for resistance to heat. That will keep the heat inside the house during the winter and outside of the house during these hot summer months. It's easy to inspect. Uh, you can go up into your attic. If you only see, if you can see your the top of your ceiling joist, the wood, then you probably don't have enough insulation in there. You want a big, thick 18 inch blanket of insulation in your attic. It's very cost effective and the return on investment um, pays for itself extremely quickly. There are plenty of qualified companies providing insulation services at the Tulsa Home Builders Association. We hope that these tips have been helpful for you. For any further information, go to TulsaHBA.com or you're welcome to call 918-663-1100 for more information. Thank you.